So before this video starts, I just want to say, you may notice my outfit changes a little bit when the video ends. Well, this was actually supposed to come out a while ago. I can't remember what video at the time of recording this right here, but I believe... Christ, I can't even remember now. But pretty much, I had most of this game recorded. It's a short game, yet unfortunately... The game kept crashing for me, and even worse, I couldn't get OBS to work with it. Like, after, like, the second or third crash, OBS was just like, nah, I'm not doing this today. So, I didn't want that recording to go badly or, you know, have to redo it. So, what I decided to do was, I put the game on pause, I kept what I had recorded already, and I just recorded basically the rest of the game so if you notice why things seem a little bit split that's why so anyways enjoy the video hello everybody my name is grim and welcome to penumbra now if you're wondering what this game is it's pretty simple we all know frictional games right the creators of amnesia well, before that, they had a trilogy of games called Penumbra. But before that, when they were developing their in-house game engine, they made a tech demo that ended up being incredibly popular. So not only did they expand on that tech demo, but that tech demo would go on to influence Penumbra Overture. And this is that tech demo, Penumbra. So I was thinking, before we get onto Amnesia, before we get onto the main Penumbra series, I wanted to play this. There we go, I need to turn up my volume again, because this music is loud. Yes. It all began a week after my mother's passing, and I thought that I couldn't be in any worse emotional state. Ooh, jeez, I'm sorry, dude. That was before the letter dropped in my mailbox. It was supposedly written by my father, who left my mother before I was even born. The mail contained a note telling me he was dead, and asked forgiveness for not being there. There was also a key leading to a safe deposit box. Interesting. I thought about just throwing it away, but I had always wondered who my father was, and I just couldn't let it go. I don't blame you. After an internal struggle, my curiosity won, and I headed to the bank where the box was deposited. In the box was an old book, written in some strange language unknown to me. There were also some notes that I figured must be in my father's handwriting. I like how this is hand-drawn. The text in the notes was hard to read, but after some effort I found out that a lot of them were about a place somewhere in Greenland. I hmm. wondered if this place might give me some clues about my late father. Days went by, and I couldn't get this place in Greenland off my mind. On Greenland? I knew I had to go there. You mean in Greenland? <laughs> Finally, I took a flight to Greenland. And after landing, I had to hitch a ride with a fishing boat. Okay. As we arrived at shore, ominous clouds were gathering in the sky. It seemed like a storm was on the way. Despite warnings from the fishermen, I started walking towards my destination. Now that I was close, I couldn't just stop and rest. As I was walking, a strange sensation went through my body. I wondered what was waiting for me out there. Hmm. Huh. A half an hour later, I was caught in a fierce storm. Perhaps I should have listened to the fisherman. I struggled on blindly and thought I was about to die from exposure when I found some sheltering rocks. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Okay. As I crawled under the rocks, I hit something hard and metallic. A hatch. Somehow I knew this was what I was looking for. I gripped the handle and pulled it open using all my remaining strength. Slowly, I stepped into the unknown. And so it begins our adventure into Penumbra. Okay. I need to make sure. Is this, is this working? Alright, it's working. The reason why is because I've always had issues with this game in the past. 
press the R key will make it pressing the R key will make it easier for me to interact with objects in the world. So yeah. Of course this was when they were really focusing on trying to get this part of their engine set up. And I do not want to hear anybody talking about how this engine looks outdated. I I don't want to hear it. Alrighty. There we go. That's a note to my notebook. No, nope. Alright. This ain't gonna work. So I can't go in there. I do not know why I am writing this down. Perhaps I want to leave it as final message in case I do not return, or maybe it is a way for me to deal with the terrible things I have experienced during the last hour. One hour ago, all hell broke loose. The lights went out and all these strange things started happening. We have never really seen anything that has been going here, but there must have been some horrible activities. The things I have heard when running were not of this world. Something took my brother and my father is still in that dark place. I cannot, I just cannot leave him behind, and when I am done writing this, I will go back for him. I do not know how we will get out of here, though the handle on the door the outside was jammed. Perhaps father knows another way. To be safe from the things in the darkness, I changed the code for the, for the door to 1993. Now I'm going back to search for the for my father. I hope he is still alive. Alright, Alrighty. Piece of a key, one of two parts of it broken. Tools required to open this hatch. Okay. I can't mend the key by hand. And it's just a plastic cup.
Come on. Can one of these doors open? There's no way to open this door until the panel is fixed. It is malfunctioning. Seems the panel is using electric magnets to attach itself to the door. Okay. How could it be done? It does not work. That doesn't seem right. Well, what am I supposed to do, game? Y you can't just... Y you gotta give me a little leeway. Tool is required to open this hatch. Use the pipe! Okay. Alright, I think it's best we use our flashlight for here. Hello? Are there any ghoulies in here? What is this? Painkillers. The plastic box contains white pills. Might come in handy if you get in pain. Oh great, that already tells me there's gonna be creatures here. Wonderful. Batteries? Yo. Jeez, I am strong. Okay. Is there just random soda cans in here? The generator won't start. I need to find some fuel for it. Okay. Well, thankfully, I already did that. There's a gas can lying on top of the shelf. It is out of reach for me. I must get it down somehow. Yeah, well, I, I kind of already did it. Damn, the gasoline poured out on the floor. There seemed to be a hose missing. I need to find one before I can pour the gasoline into the backup generator. Oh, well that would have been good to know earlier. There's a hose. More flares and more dynamites. Guess I'm gonna have to like blow something open? I don't know. That's cool, I like how like the flashlight kind of moves with you. There we go. Build the generator with all the remaining fuel. Hopefully, hopefully it will be working when I press the start button. The power seems to be back on. Nice. That is good to hear. Right. What a stench. What is that? I feel caution is required. Eking and leaning. EQ seems like a good idea. Oh, 
Liquid jar. Jar containing what seems to be a liquid of some kind. Can't really detect any odor coming from the bottle. Okay, okay, it's coming. The freak are you? What is this thing? The odor coming from it is truly awful. So that's what it was. I had a feeling that's how we killed it. I was eating that guy. Okay. <laughs> it would not be a good idea to go any further. That steam is pretty hot. Locked with the numerical code. I need to find the code before I can leave. Okay, is there like a safe option? No, there isn't. Okay. Wait a minute, if I could go through... If it says I can open these... Alright, guess not. Wait. What if I try the dynamites? Nope, okay. That was a waste. How much we got left? Two. Oh boy, alright. What can we do? Maybe get up there. The tools required to open this hatch. Alright, never mind. How about you tell me what tool I need? That'd be nice. Freaking VHS player. I, there's tools right here. Why can't I pick these up? Because that would make too much sense. Wait a minute. I think there is a door at the very bottom of those of the stairs. I should not be running this quickly in a horror game, good lord. 
The door looks like the others, but there is a slot for a passage card. It won't accept any code input unless I have a passage card. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, give me those batteries. This is rat. Oh, rations. Fuck it. Alright, get me up here. Okay, let's explore this room a little bit. I don't, I don't know if I explored it completely. No, I explored it completely. I explored here completely? Well, we are currently as stuck as can be. I have no clue where to go. And the game just crashed. Wonderful. Absolutely splendid. I love it when games crash. Alright. We are back now. Yeah, I got that game. So how about you give me an idea of what I can do? Because I... Would love that. You know, that's something gamers like, you know, understanding the game. What's this? Vent tool. A tool for opening ventilation hatches. Alright, so I just wasn't exploring the environment enough. I don't even know why I have you guys selected there. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. On the other side. Closest? No, I can't. Okay. Oh, come on. Really? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't. No. Ha ha ha. Get up! Alright, we're making progress now. Typical, the power cord is missing. Seems I'm getting nowhere with this machine until I find a replacement cord. Batteries. Batteries. More dynamite. I'm, sh I'm curious if we can use that to kill monsters, because we know that electricity can.
There seems to be some kind of electrical cord on top of the shelf I might be able to use to power up the machine in the other room. First of all, what kind of cable just sits on a shelf like that? All right, let's tr let's try to figure this out. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, crap. Here we go. Okay, how well is this? How good is this lean? Pretty good, actually. Alright, close up. Elect electrical cord. Alright, nice. They're connected and ready to go. I'm guessing I use this for the key. I inserted one. There we go. Mm. Seems like the machine fixed the key just fine. I picked up the key and put it along with the rest of my stuff. All right, nice. We're getting somewhere. We're really getting somewhere. Close up completely. Thank you. All right, simple key, a broken key that I mended. Looks like it will work fine. Let's hope so. Oh, come on. That was weird. That was very weird. Okay. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Come on, come on. I don't recall taking the painkillers earlier. My painkillers are just gone. Okay. There. 
Oh, give me that. Well, there's gotta be something in here. Use something, anything, please, for the love of gosh, something. Something, please. That's of use. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, I don't, I don't like this. What? What in the world? Hmm, this particular mail seems quite interesting. I add the text to my notebook. You gonna read it? Mail from computer. Dear co-workers, due to the hardware failure earlier today, access codes will be changed effective immediate. New codes are as follows. Level 1 Office 6667. Level 1 Workshop 9834. Level 1 Entrance 1243. Level 1 Access to Level 2 1124. I'm guessing this is office. Six six seven. All right. Okay. I think I'm get I think I'm kinda getting into the swing of things. Alright. Nine eight three four. Huh? One one two four? One, two, four, three. Guess we just can't go in there. And the game crashed again. This is. <clears throat> hmm, this per. Particular mail seems quite interesting. I've added it to my notebook. Oh, wait a minute. Is this. Alright, six, 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 seven. Time to figure out where the freak I was last time. Pretty sure I didn't go up here. Oh, great. Shitty jumping. Wonderful. My favorite. Yep. Yeah, up. Get up, stop crouching. Did not mean to do that. Oh great, we're back here again. Hmm. 
move. Thank you. Nothing. Nothing in the trash can. Apparently we now have damn keys. I'm pretty sure I did this last time. Let's try to open up some more doors. Alright. Oh, notes found. 9834. Two, four, three. One, one, two, four. I'll piss right off. Don't you just love it when the games don't freaking tell you what you're supposed to do? I sure do. Guess we can try going down to the bottom floor. Looks like the others, but there's a slot for. Well, where am I supposed to get the damn key card from? There's a door I can't open, and I don't know where a damn key card is supposed to be. Supposed to be a key card in here somewhere? Hills. <laughs> no. There's no key cards like anywhere. Is there a key card in here? I'm seriously starting to get annoyed here. Where's the damn key card? Oh, come on! I put dynamite next to that! How did that not open? Come on, man. Freaking spat all over my computer. What fun. Stupid bat sink. I just... I, 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 I don't know, man. Can't get up there. Because the game won't let me. And how am I supposed to turn this off? There has to be a way.
This is what I don't like in games. When you have to run around, you've checked every door, you've checked every combination, and yet there's not like a map feature or anything that tells you, hey, go here, dickhead. Like, come on. This isn't good game design. This is just, this is literally just the term, where the fuck do I go, the video game. Guess I can try going around here. Nope, that was a waste of time. Hi. <sighs> oh my gosh. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? I've tried all the codes on that damn door, and nothing opens it. And that's clearly what I'm supposed to do. All right, I gotta stop with these damn flares. Like, what else would I be able to do? I have to be able to open this somehow. And none of the codes work. 9834 Doesn't work. We've already tried this. 1243 Doesn't work. 1124 What the hell? Like what am I supposed to do? What am I missing? What am I missing? That is what I want to know. My god, you've got to be kidding me. So I had to mix two fluids to make acid. How was I supposed to know that? Who would have known that? And why didn't dynamite work? There it is. There's that stupid ID card. So that room that's locked it 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 exists for no reason. At least as far as I'm aware. Freaking hell. All right, I'm guessing this is 1124. Up. Well, all right then. So yeah, that was Penumbra. It's the fact that I had to come back to this and film a second part of it because it kept crashing and I couldn't even get OBS to work properly. That's infuriating. But anyways, I'm sorry if the second recording, which you guys are probably just got done seeing, if I seemed really angry, I just... I didn't want to have to kind of just do all this. I wanted to just play the game, enjoy myself, have fun, and no. Apparently, this game didn't want me to do that. But anyways... If you guys are excited to see more of the Penumbra series, there are three games. And then after that, touching the Amnesia game. So that's going to be interesting. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw. Share this video around. And of course, comment down below horror games you guys would like to see me play in the future. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys can come watch me scream.